Let me ask you something. Have you ever typed something into a search engine and wondered how does the top results always seem to have the perfect answer? Well, behind the scenes, it's all about understanding how the algorithm works. But today we are not talking about just any search engine. We are diving into search GPT, a revolutionary way of finding and ranking content. And why? You cannot afford to ignore it. So before, before we dive into the strategies, let me share something with you. Many creators and businesses have cracked the formula for platforms like Google, YouTube, or even social media algorithms. But search GPT, well, that's a whole new beast. So it's not just about stuffing keywords anymore. It is about how well your content connects, how well it answers, and how much it engages. And the best part, well, by the time we get to the last section of this video, you will have the key to rank higher than your competition. So ready to unlock the secrets of search GPT? Let's begin. So before anything else, let's get this straight. Search GPT is an AI driven search interface. Unlike traditional search engines that rely heavily on backlinks and static ranking factors, Search GPT prioritizes context, relevance, and user intent. It is designed to think, respond, and interact like a human. Well, why does it matter? Well, because if you don't align your content with what this AI wants, your rankings are going to be nowhere close to the top. So think of Search GPT as a hyper-intelligent librarian. It does not just look for books with the keyword you mentioned. It understands your questions, anticipates follow-ups, and recommends the most relevant content, even if that content does not have all the exact keywords. Now, this might sound basic, but hear me out. With Search GPT, it's not enough to know what, who your audience is. You need to know how they think, how they search, and what they truly want. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So instead of targeting best project management tools, think about like, why would somebody search for this? Maybe they are struggling to manage a remote team or they need a tool that integrates well with their existing system. So your content should address those deeper needs. So here's a pro tip. Use conversational language in your content. Search GPT loves natural, human-like phrasing. So if your audience searches, what is the fastest way to organize my team's task? Your content should reflect and answer that conversational query directly. See, gone are the days of throwing a bunch of keywords into your content and hoping for the best. Search GPT is all about contextual understanding. It looks, beyond, it looks beyond keywords and focuses on how well your content answers the user's intent. So here's how to do it. First is, use tools like ChatGPT or other AI systems to predict how users might phrase their questions. Second step is, include long tail keywords which are more conversational, such as how to organize team projects remotely instead of team project management. So here's a pro tip. Do not ignore synonyms and related terms. Search GPT recognizes phrases like team collaboration tools and project coordination software as part of the same context. Now, imagine walking into a library and finding a book with no chapters, no headings, and no index. Frustrating, right? Well, that's how Search GPT sees poorly structured content. So here's what you need. Clear headings and subheadings. So use H1, H2, and H3 tracks properly. They act as signposts for Search GPT, making it easier to understand your content. Then use bullet points and list. Now these are gold mines for AI because they break down information 
into digestible chunks. Then use FAQs. So adding a FAQ section at the end of your content can <coughs> help answer specific short questions users may have. So again, here's a pro tip for you. Start each section with a clear answer to a likely question and then elaborate. For example, what is the best tool for team management? Answer, it depends on your needs. Below are the three top options, something like that. Now this is where search GPT really shines. It measures engagement differently. It's not just about clicks anymore. It is about how much time users spend interacting with your content. Now whether they find it useful and if they come back for more. So, this, so here are a few ways to increase engagement. First is add interactive elements. So include quizzes, polls, or even downloadable templates. Second is keep it snappy. So use short sentences, conversational language, and engaging visuals. Then encourage follow-up. So write in a way that makes the reader want to learn more. For example, did you know, know that using X tool can save you 10 hours a week? Let's explore how. Now search GPT doesn't rank shallow content. It wants depth. Now think of your content as the ultimate guide, the kind somebody would bookmark and share. And this is how you can do it. First way is use real examples. So instead of saying this tool is great, explain why. For example, using this tool, a remote team managed to cut down their meeting time by 30%. Second is linked to reliable sources. So cite credible studies or statistics. Search GPT values content backed by evidence. Next is avoid fluff. See, every sentence should add value. If it does not, then cut it. See, Search GPT favors content from trusted sources. So even if you're just starting out, there are ways to build your authority. How do, you, how do you build that? Well, first collaborate with experts. So interview industry leaders or feature guest posts. Then showcase testimonials or case studies. These add credibility. Then be consistent. Regularly publish high quality content. The more consistent you are, the more search GPT will recognize you as a reliable source. Now more people are using voice search than ever. And search GPT's conversational nature aligns perfectly with this trend. So then how do you optimize for uh, voice search? Well, here are a few ways. First is use natural spoken language. For example, instead of writing best project tools, use um, what are the best tools for managing projects. Second, include questions based headings like how does this tool save time? Now, you know, search GPT is powered by AI and to succeed on it, you need to leverage AI tools too. So use platforms that analyze First, user behavior. Second, keyword trends. And third, content performance. And here's a pro tip for you. Pay attention to your content's drop off points. If users leave halfway through, that's a sign you need to improve those sections. Now ask yourself, what does my audience really want? Is it a detailed tutorial? a quick comparison or an opinion piece and tailor your content accordingly. For tutorials, use step-by-step -step instructions with visuals. For comparisons, include pros and cons for easy decision-making. You made it to the end. So here are the strategies that truly set you apart. First is experiment with interactive AI responses. 
see search gpt values interactive elements like chatbots or live demos integrated into your content then second is update frequently so keep your content fresh search gpt loves up to date information then answer related questions so anticipate follow up questions users might ask and include those answers in your content for this leverage schema markup so see add structured data to make your content more search gpt friendly see ranking on search gpt is not just about algorithms it is about creating meaningful engaging and high value content that resonates with your audience the more you focus on providing solutions answering questions and building trust the higher you will rank and remember the world of digital search is evolving search gpt is just the beginning of ai driven search engines by staying ahead of the curve you are not just ranking but you are leading so what's stopping you go create content that matters connects and converts let us conquer search gpt together